went way out. Don't let go, though. Hey, what's right, up? Hold on. Hey. You're gonna tip, let go. Don't let yourself tip. There you go. Yeah, you got two to let go. We have power. We have power up there, then. It's gonna be, everything's gonna be nice as easy as I can do it. The engine only runs so slow. All right. Right or wrong. Clamming now. <laughs> Addiction, 100% action, 100% wow. Yeah, addiction to the wow. Stay tuned. So here we are. We're up in the shallow salt marshes. And we've arrived on a falling tide, which is what we want. We want this tide to get as low as possible. You can see over here, this is easy grounds to get to. Lots of people will come out here and get to that. Where they won't get to is when the tide's very, very low. If they don't time it right, they won't get to these areas that are in here. So there'll be more clams down in here. So it's got to be very low? Better to be low because then you're getting the grounds that less people have gotten to. Oh, okay. Everybody can come out here right now on a bunch of tides and get up in there. Uh -huh. But as it gets lower and lower and lower, less and less people will come out here dead, dead low. They won't time it right. So you got okay. to, the lower it is, the more clams you'll find. What we're going to do is... We'll have a collection bucket that one guy will collect in. <coughs> and here's a real secret that a lot of people don't know. Then we have a bucket that we'll put in the moving water that we'll have a runner carry the clams to. So let's say like this. If that tide falls out, we'll put that bucket deeper and deeper into the water. Okay. What you want is you want to start filling that with clams. This way, the clams will spit out any muck or sand that they have in them while we're out here. Okay. So your clams will be a lot less sandy and a lot less mucky. They'll be really, really good because they're cleaning themselves as we're clamming. All right, so somebody will run those back over there. Primarily, we're gonna be using rakes to look for them. They look more like, like hose than, than real clam rakes. I prefer these. So each guy will have one of these. Okay. Take a small one for now. Take one of these here. Okay. And the way we'll do it is, we're going to be moving around quite a bit. Once you find one of the storage rates, Right? So you got to kind of keep an eye um, on the oysters as you're looking for the clams. And I know it looks unproductive, but the point is, is that as this tide falls, go ahead and clean that and show it to the camera. As the tide falls, you'll find more and more of them. Be better and better when you start to get an eye for them, it's kind of hard to see at first. Yeah, because I didn't. I ain't gonna see you. Another one here. Oh, by the way, they have to be at least an inch wide. All right. All right. Or you can't keep them, and I think that's. It looks to be about an inch, but I'm not responsible for any illegal ones. We'll look at them a little bit closer later to make sure they're not illegal. Anything under an inch is too small. And that's a North Carolina rule? Yep, that's a North Carolina rule. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Nothing, bam, bam, bam. Nothing. I won't spend too much time. We're waiting for this water, I'll admit it. Like raining. Don't wear yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real deal right here. This is no joke. This is real. It's hard work. It's, it pays off if you know what you're doing. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> give me the give me the button. <laughs> you know the water's deep. <laughs> All right, 
guys, that's 40 or one. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I got a bottle of hot sauce in my pocket. You like your clams raw? <laughs> <laughs> little bit of salt and pepper on it won't hurt nobody. <laughs> and man, that mud right there on this corner right here, man, that, it's go, it will take your boot off. Yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Get a vest and some good boots. Tell about it, man. It's so you don't do every day. So when you do do it, it's fun. <laughs> Tell you, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, okay, you might get a little bit dirty here and there. But you'll live. Yeah, ain't nothing but dirt. Yeah. Salt water. <laughs> okay. Well, we here. We'll Which foot? <laughs> Before I move. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. See one okay. Blood worm. Yeah, really? Yep. Yeah. No, I just broke them. That's where they be at? Yeah. Oh, you should never told Frank that now. I never knew that. Oh, the ass in trouble now. <laughs> the blood marks? Yeah. 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 Why you don't like paying a dollar thirty-five each one?
we don't have to later on. <laughs> Bear with me, this is new to me, this is well it is to you. We're gonna get this right. <laughs> We're gonna learn how to now what I'm getting ready to do is to stick this bucket in the water so that it can be it has to be in running water so the clams can feed, open up and clean the so, baskets over here is full and what they're doing is they're washing now there's certain certain clams in here this size here is a stewing clam when you stew these you make soup these are steamers this size here is our steamers yeah I'm from Jersey this is a steamer anything bigger than this you boil make soup. So we have a few clams and we're still digging to fill up another basket. <laughs> Back to work. our cleaning station is. Hey, you did, you did a good job on that. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> there you go right there. Nice size. Woo! Folks, that is how you dump them clams without breaking any. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, there's more. Now you're legal. Just go ahead and lift that and um, keep it up and just so you clean the sand off the bottom before you pop it in the boat. Yeah, wiggle it around off the Bottom. We might put that one in the green boat and then we'll stick the two smaller ones so to divide the weight up a little bit. Oh my, what you guys got in there? Drinks and snacks. Drinks and snacks. <laughs> <laughs> this is some heavy stuff, y'all. <laughs> this will be a trip here. <laughs> All right. Get your Here, somebody want your blood worms? Oh my God! They turn them loose. There ain't got many in there. Man, y'all see we made it back. <laughs> it's a fun trip. It was worth it. I mean, as you folks can see, right there. <laughs> Good job, Frank. Uh, thank you, sir. Jose. You welcome, man. And Jeff. <laughs> the guy, captain, everything you wanted all in one, wrapped in one. You can't do after no better. And he get hands on. <laughs> welcome to Frank's Kitchen, where I'm going to show you how to do a simple and easy dish. It's called clam dumpling soup. First thing we do, we got to we, we, we prepare the pot. And we got it boiling. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add my potatoes and let the potatoes start. I got two potatoes, three potatoes. It don't matter how many potatoes you put in there as long as you got potatoes. And as the potatoes are boiling, I'm going to add my sausage along with the potatoes. And I'm getting ready to put my celery in the pot. 
Now you gotta remember when you're cooking this type of food, it's easy and very good for you. My onions, all this is for flavor. Go right in the pot. Tomato juice. You add the tomato juice as much as you think you might want to have on here. This is only for color. My special ingredient, dry red wine. This is for flavor. And you add as much as you think that you might want, but it's just for flavor. I say about a half a cup would be fine. All that's for flavor. Alright, the next part of my seasoning is parsley flakes. Now you add this according to how you think that you might, you know, I just like the, I like parsley, so I use a lot of parsley in my pot. It's color and flavor. Now, as that's boiling, I'm going to let my potatoes and all my vegetables cook down just a little before I add the main ingredients. So stay tuned and we'll get it together for you. Alright, I'm getting ready to add some fresh thyme. Now you can get thyme in the store fresh, you can get it uh, dry. I prefer to use fresh thyme because it adds better flavor to my pot. Now, I'm just going to drop it in and let it go a little while. While that's going, I'm going to start adding my meats. First of all, I'm going to add some scallops. Now you add the scallops as much as you want. I like scallops. I like seafood so I like mine hearty. <laughs> now I love I love them so that's my scallops. The next ingredient I'm going to use is called crab meat. Now you can get fresh crab, you can get canned crab, that's what I'm getting ready to put in here, some canned crab. Now all this is just to make it flavorful. My next ingredient is clams lobster tail. That goes in there. And my last ingredient, shrimps. Lots. I love shrimps so I use lots and lots of shrimp. That's all my ingredients. Now, I'm going to what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my pot down to a simmer. I'm going to let it simmer for about 25 minutes. All right. What we get ready to do now is add the last of the last of the ingredients that we need to put this all together. This is called dumpling. Now, the dumpling is like a thickening agent. But you add it's like a bread mixture. So what it does, it brings it all together for you. Now I got my pot at simmering as you can very well see. It looks very good, don't it? Yes it does. Okay. Our dumplings is gonna bring it all together and then we'll be ready to serve. Welcome back. Now you are at the best part of the whole entire meal when we get to eat. Come and see the feast that we've prepared for you. Voila! 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 Also, when you're eating something like this, it's nice to have a nice table wine to go with it. Ah, oh, it's just just good. <laughs> well I wanna thank everybody who came and seen.
the recipe. And I would like to say, like I said, if you like this, want the recipe, it'll be on the internet. 